The environment team also works closely with the engine team on a daily basis to be able to push our visuals for the planetary tech. They made some great progress on some new procedural moons, making sure they look good not only from an extreme distance, but as well as close up to all the way to the point where you land on them and explore. They also made progress on new varieties of vegetation. Along with the new varieties, the engineers have also implemented the functionality. So we can now have bending tree trunks and branches as opposed to previously where we just had leaves that moved. Moving on to VFX, the VFX team also works with the engineers and they've been recently working with them on some new tool sets for procedural particles. The tools allow us to spawn particles based on specific parameters to help the environment feel more dynamic and alive. Parameters including such thing as terrain elevation, angle, specific texture, specific ecosystem, and on and on. We also now have ecosystem-based weather particles that are attached to the camera and procedurally play when you're inside that specific ecosystem, as well as the ability to group particles along with specific procedurally distributed objects such as trees or rocks. This will allow us to add more bespoke detail to items across the procedurally scattered items, such as leaves falling from trees and dust blowing off rocks, etc.